Hey everyone, welcome to today's update. Today's January 7th. Looking at the markets, S&P today down about 10 and a half points. The market is closed now at the time of this recording. So a little bit of down movement, but still pretty sideways action. If we look at the kind of the weekly expected move of SPX, you can see we're still pretty close to where we started the week. So a whole lot of nothing. What's interesting, I was, I was looking back over time over the weekly expected moves and look how many times we have traded inside that expected move. I mean, if we go back, I mean, this this week here back in the early December, I mean, we, we broke below the expected move, but we closed right inside, right where we started the week. Inside, you know, this one bounced outside a little bit back, but closed inside the expected move. Going all the way back here, another one broke out of the expected move just slightly, but closed inside. Broke out, but closed inside. I mean, we've got to go all the way back. Broke out, closed inside. We've got to broke out, closed inside. We've got to go all the way back to December, the end of December of last year, for a move to close outside of the expected move. I mean, that that just that's that's craziness. So. Just continuing that kind of uh, muted action in the market. So, you know, obviously no, we don't know what's going to happen, but something's got to give. You know, at some point we're going to see some some really good volatility, hopefully sooner rather than later. But what else is going on? Uh, oil uh, is down about a percent today, so showing some relief off of that spike. So it's coming back down. So apparently the worries are subsiding about the geopolitical. Iran, Iraq, uh, Middle Eastern threats, but uh, I wouldn't be so sure about that yet. They are promising retaliation. Hopefully it's uh, it's nothing big, but we'll see what happens. The other thing, so if we look at some of the stocks uh, that we that we look at, huge mover in Beyond Meat. So if we take a look at like at a one year chart of Beyond Meat, this thing just IPO'd in May, early May of last year. And after it IPO'd, had this huge run-up. Remember, Beyond Meat's this fake meat. So you see all these different fake meats coming out for plant-based diets. So it skyrocketed up, and then it's just continued lower. And really, since you know the end of October last year, it has just been flat. I mean, talk about a nothing burger, <laughs> just flat movement, nothing. And then today, it spiked up over 12%. And so why did it spike up 12%? Well, all the news that I read is its competitor, Impossible Burger, which is a privately held company, announced that they are going to start producing some fake pork. So most of this has been on the beef front. So you're seeing the Impossible Burger at Burger King and, and Beyond Meat has different options out there on the in the beef market, but Impossible announced pork. So apparently that means Beyond Meat is coming out with a, a fake pork product too. And for just that news, the stock's up 12.5%. So interesting movement in Beyond Meat. Uh, we put on a new trade in Google today, did a reverse iron duck in Google. So we've got no risk to the downside. And then uh, we've got a big buffer all the way up to about this level here to the upside where we can make money. So that was in Google. And then the only other thing that I wanted to mention here, another big mover was Tesla. Tesla continues its march higher, up almost 4% today. Actually, Uber and Lyft were up big too. Apparently Twitter, that must have been a late day move. I didn't see that earlier, but Tesla continues its march higher. I talked about this several weeks ago that I thought Tesla was going to continue up to the 600 plus level, you know, over the next six to 12 months. And it, it certainly has done that. It had a little bit of a pullback here, and then it's continuing its uh, its march higher. So keep an eye on Tesla. I uh, would love to you know get in a little bit more into this on some pullback. I haven't done much as far as an alert goes, but potentially look for that in the future. Everybody have a great evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.